Hello again. Back to Super Auto Pets. Um, had a good win with the Turtle Pack last time. I think I'm ready to give the Unicorn Pack another try. See if we can have a bit more luck. Uh, I can't remember what we tried last time. We tried a couple of things, but didn't really have a, a really solid build coming together. So I might... Uh, I don't know if I want to target a, a certain kind of build now. or just wait and see what's given to me. Uh, we are going to be the amazing legs. Okay, you should get some health. You won't fire, unfortunately. Very unfortunately. That's fine. Early days and all that. Uh... I suppose I'll buy sell a cuddle toad. No matter which broom. So between you and you, I am going to put you there. Roll once more. It opens us up to axe handle hounds ourselves, but hopefully it's worth the risk. So yeah, I'd like to try a jump build, and I would also really like to try a roll build. Okay, perfect. Lovely. These hands are great. Okay. One turn left on the witch broom. Ghost kitten. Jackalope. So that's a jump. Friend jump. Deal two damage to one random enemy. So you jump. But you're going to do damage. Who else is jumping? Okay, okay, we've got, we've got a jumper. We jump. Mana. All right. So you'll be sniping while these guys are lopping forward. Let's see how this goes. I don't have doubles, but I do, so he's going to fire, which is unfortunate. Okay, good snipe. Not going to be good enough, unfortunately. Got a griffin. Do I get rid of the doubles, or do I just assume that by this stage, people aren't running axe handle hounds? <laughs> hmm. Okay, Pogo's good for some levels, if that's the way we're going. Uh, no. So I just wait until the next turn. What does the Jackalope do leveled up? Two, four, six. I mean, there's something to be said for it. Uh, no doubles, unfortunately. Oof. So we turn five, so we'll level you up just to see what we get. Roll six times or faint. Again, if we were rolling, roll build. Roll. I suppose I should actually plan what I'm looking for. Does anything here jump? Brain cramp jumps. Okay. Uh, I might... Do that. I'm going to have three jumps. He's going to shoot... He's going to level up and shoot four three times, which is, you know, better than nothing. But I'm still very statistically... Weak. He's going to go off. Great. Get a jumper. Yeah, we're missing something here. Missing something. Uh, turn six. 
I'm going to put you there. Hmm. Yeah, okay. You know what? Will you do that if there is nothing there? Or if, there, if you're the front spot? Let's find out. What do we got here? Uh, level mana builds, all sorts of stuff going on here. Good snipes. Real good snipes. Yeah, okay. Okay. You're a jumper. Let's see. I realize I'm doing zero scaling here, which is not going to lend itself to a very successful run. Um, I killed my sniper. Although, didn't seem to matter. Friend faints. Transfer all friendly mana or give the two front most friends and enemies to experience. Jump to the front and deal three damage to the last enemy. You're good for jumping, but you're also good for leveling. Oh, you know what? I need to diversify. What was a bunny again? Bunny. Mm. Oh, that was the one with the bat, wasn't it? Um, a few, I suppose. Ah, you killed a jumper. But it worked out. Head crab. Sorry. Brain cramp. Jump to the front, gain two. And melon. Some juicy monsters here, but uh, I like how the, the two Half Life themed enemies are both jumpers. Um, I think one of you, yeah, you can at least level up. Ah, oh, I've got to check is this guy going to jump still, or is he already there where he needs to be? Okay, you are going to jump, that's fine. Okay. That works. Just a bit vulnerable. Ah, uh, so I can plan to level you up. Man to level you up. Empty front space. Summon one eight eight fire pup. I mean that's good, but he's not jumping, is he? Let's roll this. Ooh. 
32, 32 Nessie is always going to be hard to beat. So we had a... What was his front one? Oh, the big tanky dude. Roll, roll. Yeah, so he's... um Into the full swing with his roll build. Oh, okay. Move to health and then give it plus five attack. Uh, I mean, that's not bad. What do you what do you do? Touch the front deal nine damage. I mean that's something. I'm thinking maybe I don't need to invest in you. Maybe we have a better option. Like this guy. He'll just sit there and Actually, you know what? I will lose a jumper. But if he just sits there and gets tanky. It's not the worst thing in the world, is it? Who is that? Tomato. Deal 8 damage to the last enemy before attacking once. Damn. Ugh. Give another another run. Yeah, I don't think jumping is just for me. I, I felt there's no late game. Although I didn't get to the last tier really, did I? Anyway, let's try it for a roll or a mana build. Um, I'll get you three just because you are probably the best available. We will be the hidden bits. What have we got here? Three of the same, thank you. <laughs> you love to see it. Uh, ooh, I'll hold on to you. I'll just do this just to avoid having doubles. None of, the, none of these are really exciting. No double, thank you very much. We'll take a draw. Tell you. Might as well do that. Pretty underwhelming turn three, but uh, that's all right. We're cooking. We're cooking. Probably cooking garbage, but we're cooking. Good. Okay, one turn left of him. Um, not a battle, give a mana, and you get a mana. I mean, that's pretty underwhelming, isn't it? Worth selling something for that? Probably not. Wouldn't even do that. Okay, Frost Wolf. I like. When he becomes level two, this will be useful behind him, but right now he's probably not. Um, although, someone will have an element, won't they? Oh, you need to be there. Uh, no, I'll skip that for now. Oof. Put something out, at least. Yeah, 
Okay, good snipe. Could be actually very good for us. Hey, okay, that's a waste. Damn. Where are we? Level 5. Items gone. Level you up. Okay, so this could be the start of the roll build. Oh, I do really like the bat as well. I think you need to go. You're back. Uh, back? Yeah. There we roll. There we go. Has that been one turn? I think I've asked this before, but I can't remember. Bigfoot's a no-brainer. You do nothing for us right now. Let's see this grippy team of losers, see how they go. Broken step family. <laughs> Uh, okay. Are you stopping my... Did he just stop my ability from triggering them? The shithead? I want my free roll, you son of a bitch. He did too. Get you ready to level up. I will buff you, because I think I'll keep you. You know, rolls have to be in the same turn, so. Not much point rolling there. Okay, this is a bit crazy. Ah, oh, he's. Killed me, dog. Really rude. Level up, level up. I mean, where was that? <laughs> Oh, that my last runs. Didn't see any of these guys. Um, is that a freebie? Maybe. Anyway. Uh, it does feel like this pack is very much just luck of the draw. There's that much craziness going on at the start. You just find a build and you stick to it. And it's either really good or it's not. Um, he's not fantastic for us now. Oh well, got one more. Oh. oh, he's gonna spawn something big, isn't he? Okay. Follow and copy. Two free rolls is nice. I'm gonna get rid of you. One's rolling here. What do you have to do? Four out of six. Give me something to work with. Might as well get rid of you. I'll put you there, you're at least going to buff somebody, right? Okay. At least we're getting some minuscule form of buffs this turn, which is, I mean, this match is better than the last one. That's scary. Three permanent buffs. That's really good. Hmm. Still lots to learn with this one. Oh, what did I just do that for? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guess we're going in with <laughs> these two. Five smartphones. Uh, I need an editor. I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> Terrible. Close one. Oh, 
right, but if they have an axe handle hound, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, we're back. We are back. You give mana, that's just a good... No fuss. Bonus for us. Um, a little buff. Well, level you are. Okay. Do I? Yeah, I think I'm just going to do this just to get the Griffin happening. If I can level him up, that'll be a level 2 treasure chest. That means the reward will be slightly bigger, but that's only if I can level him up quick enough to make it worthwhile. It's a trade-off. This is chaos. You just cannot predict what's going to happen. Uh, you've got one turn left. Okay, you use mana, so that's good. You can go there. Nearest friend ahead, plus two health before battle. That's useless then. In that instance, anyway. Alright, if we're looking to roll... You know what? Get him out of the way. Put him there. He'll faint. We'll get a free roll. And hopefully that'll jumpstart a roll build with some actual decent units. We just need to survive long enough to get them. Another draw. What do I need to pop this off? Start a battle. And of each. Roll. That's potentially good. Not for us. It's one roll. Oh, I'm not counting rolls. <laughs> not yet. Do I? Okay. You've unfrozen shop pets. Plus one health until the end of battle. That's... I don't understand that at all. Got his skeleton dog. Let's get something happening. I'll be too little too late. Okay, two more turns of that. Another griffin. Not really doing much for us, so I will swap you. Sorry, I will swap you out. Where did he lose his damage last turn? Was he weakened or something? Um, that'll stop that happening again, hopefully. That have to do. Yeah, I've only won a couple of times with the unicorn pack. And it just felt like that the times I won, like I knew pretty early that I was going all right. But when you're not going well, you get to what turn are we now? It's turn ten. But I've known since turn five, like we just got nothing happening. Definitely just need a pivot or something. You know, you know what? May have just found a pivot. Is 
because you're going to get three uh, and then oh, another six mana, which helps. Again, I think it's, you know, one health left, turn 10. I think it's probably a bit late to pivot. But literally, we're doing nothing else. Fantastic. Uh, am I giving up on the roll dream then? Take him just to sell him. So you're level two and you need to be there to get the mana, but you spawn two pets, which means you need to leave some room. Okay. A friend faints. Not you, so I can't really use you for what I was thinking. That'll do. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh no, I just <laughs> left no space. May not matter. Just need something that like kills itself instantly at the start of a battle. Or something that jumps to the front. After this happens, maybe not. So a Nessie there, the worst thing. Let me think about that. <laughs> Do I just give him six mana to start the battle? That'll only last one turn, won't it? So it's probably not the best. Investment. Cool. I feel like I'm rolling a lot, so I may as well. Okay, but what if... That could be a real pain in the ass. As long as he... What does he do level 2? Triggers 6 times, so he's going to be going buffing, you know, randomly between these. He's going to die, spawn, and then make room for this guy to spawn too. Oh, look, it could work. That's a bit scary. Ah, okay, that's a good use of the, uh, the jump perk. Up in front of the Minotaur, didn't think of that. Very clever. Does that boy jump? No, when friend jumps. It permanently buffs. Right. Uh, it should be mortality. I mean, why not? 
Bring level up, give friends plus one attack, plus two health. Okay. Alright, spend mana to deal two damage per mana to the most healthy enemy. I mean, that... What are you getting? 12, 15. You're doing 30 damage to the most healthy enemy, just by dying. Uh, it's probably really good. Cornucopia. Choose one free tier 6 food to stock from all packs. Interesting. What is going on here? Damn, very close. Alright, well that was a bit more cohesive. Good strategy there with the, the way we can handle our spawns with mana. Still didn't get to try my roll build, but that will come in time, I'm sure. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.